Meanwhile, let's now shift our focus to some other stories where senior Congress leader and former Finance Minister P. Chidambaram's son, Karthi Chidambaram, has been arrested by the CBI for violating the Foreign Exchange Management Act. Now, the case pertains to the approval that was given by the Foreign Investment Promotion Board for the receipt of funds by a media group, INX Media, in the year 2007 when P. Chidambaram was the Finance Minister. Now, in the month of May last year, the Enforcement Directorate had filed a case against Karthi Chidambaram alleging irregularities in FIPB clearances that were given to the media house INX Media for receiving 300 crore rupees. Now, after this, the CBI had also filed a separate FIR against Karthi Chidambaram following the ED's information over illegal payments that were made to him to scuttle a tax probe against the media house. And also on Tuesday, a Delhi court had sent Karthi Chidambaram's chartered accountant, S. Bhaskara Raman, who was also arrested in the money laundering case, to the 14-day judicial custody. Now, Chidambaram's, however, have denied all the allegations that have been made against them. Meanwhile, the Congress has also slammed the arrest of Karthi Chidambaram's, term terming it as nothing more than a political witch hunt. Classic uh, diversionary tactic by Modi government to hide their own corruption scams, malgovernance and maladministration that have marred this government. In last 10 days alone, scams worth over 30,000 crores have been unearthed, but Prime Minister has not uh, moved the transition from uh, Mon Modi to Bol Modi. Prime Minister remains mum about Chota Modi, that is Neera Modi, as also Mehul Choksi. Every day, whether it is Rotomac or whether it is Durga Das Seth Jeweller, one more scam gets unearthed. Uh, Congress party will not be deterred by unleashing of vendetta against Mr. P. Chidambaram or his family. We will continue to speak the truth. We will continue to expose Modi government's corruption and we will continue to hold them accountable to people of the country. In all the investigations, I am told he has been telling lies. And even after confronting him with documents, he will give me, like for instance, he says he doesn't own Advantage Strategic uh, Consulting Company. Actually, the 95% of the shares of uh, Advantage is owned by a company called Osbridge, of which Karthi owns 100%. So all these usual tricks that uh, money launderers do, he has done. But uh, ultimately, let us remember one thing, all this corruption has happened because Mr. Chidambaram approved projects which should not have been approved. Air Cell Maxis, INX, uh, Air Asia, Vistara, these are all illegal. So, uh, therefore, the trail will lead to Chidambaram.